Taurus, welcome back to the Cosmic Divine Tarot, baby. All right now, lovely, this here is your singles reading for the month of April 2022, okay? And my darling, we're going to set this one off with the Psychic Tarot, okay, love? These three cards came out for you, Taurus singles. First off, I see triumph okay now the triumph is telling me that you're going to have someone trying to be triumphantly coming into your life as a single person okay this person this looks like the uh chariot type of card here love they're going to be very aggressively trying to come in all right they're going to need to uh be triumphant in some type of relationship with you so i feel that this person is going to go ahead and be taking the lead in their life okay they're going to be taking the lead in their life and they're going to be coming straight for you, Taurus, all right? Now, love, you see, they see you as a fulfillment of wishes. Now, this could be somebody who you just now met, who maybe uh, y'all had a few dates or whatnot, and this person is like someone who sees you as a fulfillment of wishes. So now they're going to try to be triumphant in some type of relationship with you. Now, love. I see the spiritual union next, which is telling me that this type of person who you're meeting is going to be someone who wants you two to be in a spiritual union. And they also feel that they can be in that with you because you are a spiritual person. Okay, this cup of right, this cup of love right here is a spiritual cup that both of you drink from. Okay, and you two are just one mentally and spiritually. Okay. So they see that you're somebody who they can work with like that. And that's another reason why they see you as a fulfillment of wishes. Now, love, I also have the Crystal uh, Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. And this is the first um, card that I've ever bought, love. So it's like very sentimental for me. And I just wanted to bring it out for the uh, singles reading, okay? Now, the first card you have is the uh, Polychrome Chasper. Okay, now the polychrome Chasper is telling me that this person has had some type of rocky road or you may have had a rocky road when it comes to love. All right. So when this individual steps into your life, uh, the polychrome Chasper is going to help you or aid you in looking at the uh, brighter picture, not the whole darkness that you have been through in the past with another person. Love. We also have the Ananda light. Now, the Ananda light looks like a crystal that is very beautiful, very beautiful and would aid you as the goddess and the god of love, all right, to go ahead and be what you are with this person, okay? It will help you uh, open yourself up to the experience, okay? Now, my darling, I also brought out the Lover's Oracle, and I see Taurus that uh, there is an earth angel that is charging towards you because I'm thinking that they also see you as an earth angel, okay? They see you as somebody who, if you were to lay your hands on their booty butt naked body, and of course you also had to be booty butt naked when you do this. Yes, love, Um, they feel that that type of thing would just activate the light centers of healing in their body and they also would like to do that to you so it could be both of y'all that have been through a very hard time in the past now if this is somebody who is an old person coming back around this uh could have been a rocky moment between you two and now the healing is has begun it says imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment taurus okay so it's like once you touch each other, re, uh, imagine yourself and this person being healed by the light centers that are being activated in your body. Now, this looks like somebody who will be like kind of like the same type of person that you are, Taurus, okay? It's like uh, we got on the back here at the Twin Flames. Bang, bang, your passion ignites with this person, okay? So it's like you meet somebody, your passion ignites with that person, or you have already met someone from the past, and your passion had seriously ignited with this individual. And it looks like, you know, there were times where you were just all lovey-dovey 
with this person. You had the hearts around you guys when you were uh, holding each other close. Now this new person can also be like this, okay? Love, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding, understanding and overstanding of life and love. So, it's like both of you have to understand that whatever it is that you went through in the past with another person or with each other, that there was no right, so there was no wrong. This is all about expanding your understanding of life and love. Okay? And let's go ahead and get the uh, Casanova Tarot. Yeah, my darling. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, Love. Mm. Yeah, we've all have been through a very hard time in relationships and in love, but to just let that, you know, linger and hold on to the past is not something that needs to be done, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame here. Love, okay? All right, let's pull from the bottom of the deck. I see uh, this person coming in as wanting to be intimate with you. Okay, now they're going to have to be intimate to get you booty butt naked, right, Taurus? And they're going to have to be intimate to get themselves booty butt naked, right? So this person could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is coming in trying to be all intimately, uh, you know, uh, in your life and all friendly. They want to be an intimate friend, okay? So that's how they're going to start off with the healing, like just on a close friendship basis here we got the eight of wands and then it will begin to escalate this person will start to communicate to you in such a manner that is so passionate see that triumphant right here okay being very triumphant with their words and what it is that they're saying eight of wands okay and this person is like okay it's like they're the only person in this boat and somebody is rowing them in. It's like they're going to be passionately trying to talk to you about taking this seat next to them, okay? You see that, Taurus? They're going to want to talk to you about taking this seat next to them in life and in love, okay? So let's get the, this message right here. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. So it's a lot of movement going on here, I mean, starting off with the triumphant card that's like uh, symbolic of the um, chariot, here we got the knight of wands coming in now. So it's like, you know, this is a twin flame, and when the passion ignites, it's going to really pick up the pace. Like, I mean, really go hard towards, so I would, I would get ready for this, this ride here, because it's about to be one hell of a ride, baby. Okay? Let's, oh, these two cards came out. Well, I'll take them too. I'll take them too. Okay. All right, love. Here we got the uh, we got the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Temperance right here. So, love, I can see that you two ain't gonna be able to keep your dad going clothes on. You're gonna have something wrapped around you. They gonna have something wrapped around them. Y'all could be sitting in in the chairs or on the couch or on, in the bed, okay? But it's like you two are just gonna be walking around booty butt naked with something wrapped around. It's gonna be really peaceful between you and this twin flame here. Now we got the Ace of uh, Pentacles because it's like a favorable, a good environment that's gonna be with y'all because it's gonna be a spiritual union. So whatever happens in the physical is not going to really affect y'all like that, love, okay? Because this is a spiritual union. All right, let's get to the top of the deck here. I see the emperor. You see, this is an emperor or, or you are an emperor or an empress. So if somebody is an emperor or an empress, they're not going to, uh, you know, just have a misunderstanding about life and love. They're going to have known and have experienced a few things, okay? This is the reason why they know they need a spiritual union and not just a physical one. Here we got the daggone Knight of Swords, Taurus. So it's like this person just going to have their hands all in the booty and the kitty. They're going to have your, your breasts out just kissing you on your, you know, it looks like they're going to be, they're not kissing you. They are speaking to you in such a way. Now they're going to be speaking to you in such a way, this daggone uh, emperor, this empress, okay, that's going to need you sitting on their lap, okay, with your legs open. And they want to be playing all up in the kitty. They want to be feeling all over the wand, Taurus. Hmm. Very passionately, their conversation. 
Their conversation is going to be off the daggone hook, love. Mm. One more shuffle for my Taurus. Let's get it, Taurus. All right, baby. Here we go. Let's talk about this communication right here. What are some of the things that they're saying to Taurus in the communication? Okay, bottom of the deck, baby. <laughs> Call me, please. Call me because I need to talk to you. I need to say something to you. So this is somebody who you got their number. This could be somebody who is a close, intimate friend. We got these two cards coming out. They could already be that. They could already be a friend. Now here we got... I tried, but I just can't say goodbye, okay? Baby, don't leave me. You're my only friend. So, Taurus, this person is uh, trying to tell you a lot of things, that you are their only friend. Don't leave them. Uh, we got bottom of the deck. I'm addicted to you, okay? Now let's go ahead and get to the top of the deck. And let's get it right here. We got Virgo, okay? This person could be a hermit as well. They could be somebody off to themselves. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo, all right? Boom. This person like, I need you to hold me like you used to. Okay, so Virgo just needs you to hold them like you used to. So this is definitely somebody from the past here, Taurus, that is like, you know, begging you not to leave them, begging you to call them. They can't say goodbye to you. They just can't. They've tried, but they just can't. It could be that this is already a spiritual union, okay? And they already are spiritually connected to you, so they can't let you go. The tie is too strong. The pull to each other is just a little bit too strong now. Whew. So don't leave me. Just call me. Let me talk to you, please. All right, Taurus. Well, I don't know what you're going to do, baby, but this person begging you now. Love, I just have to find out your next reading or if you want a personal reading, contact me. The way to contact me is in the description box below. My darling, also, if this is your reading, then don't forget to comment, Taurus. You haven't been commenting like that. Uh, you know, I love to hear you comments. I love your comments. I love responding to your comments, okay? Hit the like, share, and subscribe to the, to the page and also the notification button. All right, love? Alright, my darling, until next time, peace, love, and light.